today I'm going to be doing a full face first impressions video and also just so you guys know I am doing a subscriber giveaway when I hit 300 subscribers so hopefully that'll be coming up this week or in the next week um, I'm so so excited to do that but if you want to see my first impressions of some of these weird products this brand called Catkin has the prettiest packaging. We tried out some of those. I also tried out a mushroom cushion foundation, which was odd. That was odd. Also a eyeliner stamp. So the eyeliner is literally a stamp that you use to stamp on your eyes and that's the eyeliner that I have on right now. So enough fam enough fambling, enough rambling. If you guys wanna see how I got this look and my first impressions of all these products of a full face, definitely go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Shiny Eye and Lip Primer slash base. Let's see how this works. That's what it looks like. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> So the actual product is quite small. So it's kind of like a MAC paint pot um, where it's kind of like a concealer color. Yeah, this literally applies, applies, applies exactly like an eye primer from MAC. So, I mean, if this holds up well throughout the day and you know, it doesn't make your shadows crease or anything. I really feel like this might be a nice dupe for the MAC one because it literally feels exactly the same and it does what it should do. The next thing that I have is this guy right here. So this is from House Labs, which is Lady Gaga's makeup brand. This here is the Stupid Love Palette. So you can see it has a pretty little card of Lady Gaga and then here are the shadows. So I'm going to use the shade, this one right here which is called Plastic Doll. It's kind of like a matte pinky kind of color and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that into the crease as a nice little transition shade and then I'm going to go ahead and grab, let's do Stupid Love which is this one right here. And then I'm just going to grab that with a MAC 217, go into that shade. I'm just slowly building up this color in the crease and I don't know, I feel like these mattes are nice but they're a little bit patchy. I'm going to go ahead and grab the shade called 911, which is just a matte white. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that on the brow bone area just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. I think I want to use this one. So this one is the shade called 1000 Doves. It's a really, really pretty, like, light pinky color. Okay, can you guys see that? That pigmentation is not great. It feels very chalky so I don't know how this is gonna work so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Mac 239 and then let's see how this applies mm, I don't know you guys I feel like this color is not transferring well onto the lid it's just very, it's just very, very sheer. It's not very pigmented. Um, it might be beautiful as like a topper, but it's not going on too well with a brush. Yeah, that looks awful. <laughs> so let me see if I can put it on with my fingers. Okay, so it's definitely better with a finger. But, I don't know, I feel like I would have expected more. Let's try this. I'm gonna grab the shade, let's do a little bit of Sour Candy, and then see if we can put that on the lid. The pigmentation is a little bit better on this one, but, like, see that? It's just not 
going on very well. Hmm. I feel like they're just, they just feel gritty. Like they don't feel very smooth. Um, I mean, obviously they do have some glitter particles, but I just feel like it's not going on very smoothly either. Like I've had to pack on that color so many times. And then I'm just going to define this outer corner a little bit more. You know what? I'm going to use a little bit of the shade called Replay. It's kind of like an indigo color. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that into the outer corner. Just to kind of add like a little bit of like a purpley blue vibe. Ooh, that went on pretty nice. What I'm feeling so far is I feel like this palette is quite hit or miss. There are some really nice kind of pigmented creamy shades and then there I feel like there definitely are some duds as well. I should not have to work this hard to get these shadows to work. I mean this isn't a cheap palette. I'm pretty sure this palette retails for like I don't know like almost $50. So I mean I would understand if it was like a $5 palette but the quality just is not there for me. So that's what we're working with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the House Labs Glam Attack All Over Liquid Shimmer Powder and this is in the shade Aphrodite. So it comes in a black packaging like this and Let's see how this applies. And it just comes with a standard doe foot applicator. Ooh, that's pretty. These are quite opaque, so it kind of ended up covering up most of that shadow that we put on underneath, which honestly might be a good thing because that wasn't looking too good. <laughs> So there's what that looks like with the Glam Attack liquid shadow on. That is really, really pretty. I want like a pop of blue though. So I'm going to grab the shade Fun Tonight, which is a beautiful color. Oh yeah, that is stunning. See, this is what I expected from her shadows because that's beautiful. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in the outer corner as well. I'm really just experimenting. I have no idea like what look I'm going for, but I just want a little bit of blue. So let's see. It's quite chunky though. Like this shadow is a little bit chunky. That's really pretty though. I really, really like that. Okay, so final thoughts of this palette. I think it's very, very hit or miss. There are some shadows that I think are wonderful and amazing, but there are also some shadows that I don't like. For my inner corners, I'm going to go ahead and grab the shade Light Up. It's just like a shimmery white color. Now, this one is quite chunky. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing on this side, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and finished up the other eye and I actually ended up putting a little bit of this shade right here called Motion, which is just like a dark sparkly black color. I just put a little bit of that into my outer corner. So now that we have that, that. <laughs> now that we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to eyeliner. So this is from the brand called Cleof. Uh, this is the, or Cleof, this is the eyeliner stamp. So this is what it looks like. And this is literally a stamp that you're supposed to put on your eyes. So you get two stamps in here that are double sided. And one is for your left eye and then one is for your right eye. And then the other eye, or other eye, the other side is just a normal felt tip marker. So that's pretty big though. Let's see how this works. Okay, I'm going to use the left side first. Basically, this is just like a stamp like that, that looks like an eyeliner wing. Okay, oh my gosh, this is nerve wracking. I'm just going to stamp it right there. Mm. Maybe press a little bit harder. 
And then this time, I'm just going to press a little bit harder. Okay, okay, that's not bad. I mean, it, it's not, like, awesome, but I do think if you're a beginner in eyeliner, this is pretty nice just to get a guideline down, and then you can kind of, like, fill in the sparse areas. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the other side and then just fill this in. So you do end up getting a pretty thick line of liner, which I don't mind, but just so you guys know, um, just because this applicator is so big, um, it's a little bit hard to control, but the actual liner itself I think is really, really nice. So it's really nice and black, um, and I mean, I like the eyeliner so far. For mascara, I'm going to be using these two. Well, this is actually a remover, but this here is the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara Super Waterproof. So it comes in like such a cute little packaging. I'm pretty sure this is a Japanese brand. And the whole reason why I wanted to try this out was because, so my lashes are like stick straight and sometimes they even point downwards. <laughs> so I was talking to Clara and let me just get my lash curler. I was talking to Clara and she said that she really loves this mascara. So let's try it out. So it also comes with a speedy mascara remover, which I thought was really awesome because I hate waterproof mascaras, but if this mascara remove remover removes it well, then it probably wouldn't be a problem. Once we curled our lashes, let's go ahead and put this mascara on. So the brush looks like this. It's kind of like a thin curved brush. So there is one coat of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the same on this side. This formula is interesting though. I feel like it's a wet formula, but not a lot of it gets on your lashes. That is one coat of the mascara on. So far, I think it looks really good. So I put on a lower lash liner and then I just went into the Stupid Love palette and grabbed the shade called Replay, which is the same thing that we have on the outer corner. And I just went ahead and put that on the lower lash line. Now that we have let the mascara dry a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put on another coat just to see how it layers on. So that layers on really, really well. Um, if you're wanting a nice lengthening mascara, I think this is awesome. It's really not giving me like a whole lot of volume, but if you want really nice fluttery long lashes, I think this is really pretty. Putting on a second layer of this definitely made it look awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a tiny bit of it on the lower lash line. So for primer, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. And I have heard quite a lot of good things about this, um, but I still haven't tried it out. So it comes in a little glass bottle like so. And this is a pore filling primer, and this is from a Korean brand. I can tell already that this is a really nice, smoothing, kind of silicone-based primer, um, which is really nice if you want to fill your pores, but I, I feel like this is, or it feels, a lot more hydrating than a lot of other silicone-based primers, which is awesome for my dry skin. For foundation, we actually have two choices. So the first one is from La Therese, and this is a moisturizer concealer foundation makeup, and it just comes in a little box like this, and this is actually a mushroom foundation, which I know sounds so weird, but okay, so it comes in like a little pouch, and it comes with the applicator. And then, oh, that is giant. Okay, so this is, or maybe it's from the brand called Shuffle. I have no idea. But it's like a really pretty packaging. Moisture cushion. That is the cushion. So can you guys see like that design in there? Um, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard about this. So 
I'm going to try to apply it with this little sponge. The other foundation choice that I have is this cushion foundation from Catkin. It's the Summer Palace Collection. First of all, packaging is absolutely stunning. The prettiest packaging ever. And then it just comes with a cushion foundation and then a refill. So I think we'll try that out next time, but let's see how this foundation applies. I'm gonna go ahead and get the little, I guess this is why they call it a mushroom cushion foundation because of this little applicator. So you're supposed to like, oh, what? Look at that, it like prints the design onto the sponge. How pretty. And then just tap it on, I guess. So this sponge is quite hard. Yeah, this is not, I don't like this. It's so hard and it's so hard to blend out. I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush, which is the JS1 brush. And we're just gonna tap it in there like that. Oh yeah, this is so much better. <laughs> and I'm sure you could use this with like a beauty blender too. All right, so now that we have that guy on, for concealer, I'm gonna be using this one from Koki Cosmetics. So this is the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Medium Light. Cute little packaging. So this just comes in like a standard doe foot applicator. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put this underneath the eye area. And then just anywhere that I want to conceal. So it said it was a illuminating concealer and I can see like a little bit of luminosity but it's not like crazy dewy or anything. That looks pretty nice underneath the eye area though. So now that we have the concealer on for powder, so Katkin is a Chinese brand and that is not a powder, that is a blush. Oh, okay, this is the powder. <laughs> so again, beautiful packaging. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a powder brush. This one is from Sonia Kashuk and it actually has this really pretty rose print on there. Hopefully you guys can see that it's not too washed out. And this is in the shade C01. It mattified the face really, really beautifully. So I feel like if you have, or and again, the packaging is absolutely stunning. I feel like if you have oily skin, that might be a nice powder to check out. Okay, now let's go ahead and go on to the blush. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna use bronzer first. So for bronzer, it is again from Katkin. I'm just over the moon about this packaging. I think it's so beautiful. This bronzer is in the shade C03, and there's what that looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this with a bronzer brush and see how this applies. Ooh. That color is really, really pretty. I feel like if you have a very, very fair skin tone or even like a light skin tone, I feel like this bronzer will be awesome because it's not too dark and it doesn't apply a ton of product at one time. So you can really control how dark and dramatic you want it. And I feel like it's really, really going to be nice if you have a pale skin tone. I mean, that looks beautiful. And then I'm just going to put like a little bit down the sides of my nose. For blush, we're going to use, again, the Catkin one. And this is also in the shade C03. Hopefully you guys can read that. Beautiful packaging again, and this is a really, really pretty kind of coral color, and I'm just going to grab that on a, what is this, the AOA Studio F20 brush. Oh, that is so pretty. It's just like a super pretty peachy color, and I am here for that. <laughs> really, really pretty. 
Okay, so for highlight, this is the, I don't even know what brand this is, the Cmont DU, that's the brand, if you guys can read that there. So this is what it looks like, and I assume this is a like dupe of the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. Let's see? What? This is weird. Okay, so it it comes in like a foam packaging. I have never seen this type of packaging on any cosmetics before. It is literally a foam packaging. How weird. But there are the highlighters. They look really beautiful. They are a little chalky and a little powdery. So I'm going to use the shade right here. And I'm just going to grab my JS4 brush and let's see. Ooh. Wow. I did not expect this highlighter to be that blinding. That is beautiful. I'm just going to put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I want to try out one of these two. I think we're going to go for this one. It's almost like a yellowy gold. I hope this doesn't screw up the look. Oh, that is, that is gold. Okay. I feel like this highlight, even for me, is <laughs> very, very dramatic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my powder brush and just kind of diffuse it a little bit because it's pretty dramatic here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a dramatic highlight, but that just looked like a streak of highlight. Okay, so, I mean, that's not bad. That glow looks quite pretty. Alright, so now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the brows. So for the brows, this is from, I don't know what brand this is from, <laughs> but it says Eyebrow Tattoo Pen. And oh, what? Okay. So, oh, wow. Okay, so I thought it just came with the... Uh, micro 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 brow pencil but it actually comes with little brow um, trimmers which is awesome I love these and then it comes with brow stencils and then this one what is this <laughs> okay so this is like a little thank you note and it says if you write a five-star product review, then they'll give you $15, um, a $15 gift card. So I guess all of the good reviews that I saw on this were just reviews that were pretty much paid for. <laughs> That's a little sketchy, but okay. So it comes in a little packaging like this. This is very, very reminiscent of an actual mi microblading blade. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, wow. Okay, let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. Ow, I just hit my elbow on the box. <laughs> huh. You guys can see how, because it has those little like forks, it's looking like brow hairs. Mm. Okay, so I feel like this brow definitely turned out a lot better than this one. This one is, I feel like the product is starting to dry out. Let's see if I can kind of wipe it off. Maybe like the foundation's kind of getting on the applicator. Like, can you guys see how in this brow, you can almost like see the hair strokes, but on this side, it doesn't really look as defined. Find. So now for the lips. So I went ahead and purchased this from Lizzy. It is the Starry Sky Rainbow Honey Lip Balm. So again, I kind of got suckered by packaging. <laughs> Isn't this the most magical thing you've seen? Holy cow. 
it's like literally just rainbow sparkles and this is just a lip balm Ooh, it smells really good and it also feels quite nice is this tinted okay is that just me or did that get way darker is this tinted oh okay it is tinted so it looks yellow but it actually goes on like a kind of like a bright coral pink hmm. okay that's a really pretty color though. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of blob this off a little bit. Oh, oh, what just happened? Just like that, just so some of that color gets removed. For lipstick, I am, so I got these two sets here. This one is from Katkin as well, and it is in the shade CO135. And you guys, look at the packaging of these lipsticks isn't that so pretty ah! and there's what that looks like it's kind of like a reddish color and then the box so this is the uh, little trio of lipsticks so comes with like a little film and then there's what that looks like is more of like a matte color and this is in the shade CO140, CR138, which is kind of like a classic glossy red. CR139, which seems to be a matte color. So I think I want to use CR139. I mean, gorgeous packaging again. Oh, that is pigmented. The only thing about these lipsticks though is that online, like on Amazon, I feel like the colors are very different than what they actually look like in person. Because when you get these in person, they pretty much all look like a reddish orange. Um, I wish I could have seen or gotten more of like a nude color, but that's a really pretty red. I didn't apply it so sloppy <laughs> okay final product this here is the loon plus aster gloss and this is the vitamin c and e lip gloss so this is in the shade vlogger mauve color so i'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna go ahead and wipe off this lipstick my lips are kind of stained but let's see what this gloss looks like so this gloss is kind of like a mauve pink color with a little bit of a shimmer to it. That gloss is really, really pretty and it feels really nice on the lips. It kind of has like a light, like a cupcake smell. So there's what the gloss looks like and we are finished with the look. Like I said, I'm definitely going to have to play with the eyeshadow palette. The brow thing I'm kind of iffy about. The eyeliner I really like. The mascara I like. Pretty much everything else I really, really enjoyed. Um, this lip balm is beautiful and especially that it's tinted. It looks awesome. This primer I think is really cool. And as far as the highlighter goes, I mean, you guys can see it. The highlighter looks really, really pretty. So other than like the super weird, cheap packaging that this is in, I think it's a good product. So this foundation, I really, really like. The finish of it looks beautiful and it looks natural on your skin. And also the concealer. I like the concealer. It's not my favorite, but... I think it looks pretty underneath the eye area. Okay, so this product here is the bronzer. I love the bronzer. I think it's amazing. The, what is this? This is the blush. The blush is also beautiful. And then the face powder, which is this guy right here. I think the powder is really nice too. Um, it's a little bit more matte than I would like. But, I mean, it's a face powder. What do you expect? <laughs> it 
So, and I think Capkin is really fairly priced as well. It's not like I don't know if I would say it's drugstore price. It's a little bit pricier than drugstore, but it's also not, you know, like MAC price or a luxury brand. So I really like the powder. Um, the lip products. Oh my goodness. These Katkin lipsticks are stunning. I think they're so beautiful. I mean, like, tell me that's not pretty. Tell me that's not pretty. It's so cute. So yeah, overall, I am very, very pleased with my Amazon. Oh, what is happening with my eye? Okay, sorry. Um, overall, I think I really enjoy everything that I purchased. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Go ahead and hit the notification bell so you are notified of my future uploads. And also, I will be doing a subscriber giveaway when I hit 300 subscribers. So make sure you guys are stay tuned for that. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.